So what if I did it in a spiral? I love this one. I feel like it kind of looks like how I'd picture genetic material, you know. What's going on guys, it's Cindy Doby here and I'm back with another video and today we're, um, I'm, I'm homesick from school so I don't have a lot of energy. And today we're going to be looking at something I've been waiting to show you guys for a long time and I, uh, well I hope you like it. That's it. Yep. Not really, but this was the basis for my idea. And as you can see how it works is there's these repeaters between each of the pistons. You know, it's pretty easy to make. You just have blocks like this from each other and then you put er, uh, pistons on top of them and whatever you want on that and then, you know, you get your thing and then you have your source block and you just put a button on it right there. And there you have it. Now, I tried it with sand and that was all good, but I thought, what if I tried it with a minecart? Turns out that was pretty cool of what it does, you know. So I thought, I just randomly thought, both, you know, boats are more colorful. What if I did it with boats? So... I noticed something really cool. So I can go ahead and hop in the boat, which I will do. Looks pretty cool. And it keeps bouncing unlike the minecart. But that's if I'm in the boat. Watch what happens if I'm not in the boat. You notice the boats go up and they just sort of hover there. They don't fully come down. So I thought, huh. Well, I went on with the minecart idea because I figured that was just a bug. So, I made this with uh, a clock. Oops. Which I thought was pretty cool. Kind of looks like a wave or something. Oops, I accidentally knocked one of the minecarts, but you know. That'll happen. <laughs> it still works. But see, I reloaded Minecraft and the weird boat thing still worked. So, I decided, well, what if I did a line of boats? I ended up with, uh, with this. Oops. <laughs> there we go. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. That looks like a sound wave or a radio wave or something. So what if I did it in a spiral? I love this one. I feel like it kind of looks like how I'd picture genetic material, you know, nucleic acid and stuff, like deoxyribonucleic acid and whatnot. This was a failed experiment. <laughs> um... But yeah, I thought that looked really cool and just looks like it lingers for a while. So then I made, I believe this is 15 by 15 of the pistons. So that would make it 29 by 29 blocks total. And it looks like a stingray. So first I'll just do it like this. And I thought, oh my gosh, that looks like a stingray. This took me about 30 minutes to make. I don't know, it was a while ago. And I thought it would be kind of cool to do it with like a cool viewing angle. So if I just sort of, uh, eh. there we go, sort of spin around. You can see the the um, the stingray sort of float around, and I thought it looked pretty cool. Um. Oh yeah, and by the way, you guys, this is my new 2017 year old 2017 world. I make a new one every year in case you didn't know and this is my newest one I thought it was pretty cool there's another competition I had with a friend over here this was with Neil this was with someone else I will show you that another day so the 15 by 15 was okay but I thought to myself what if I could go bigger so I made the 50 by 50 piston or the 
uh, 101 by 101, or 99, but 101 if you include the lapis blocks. Giant stingray. <laughs> this took me about 4 hours to make, and it's about 126,000 blocks. If you include the entities as blocks, anyway. And I didn't film the rest of this just because, one, my frame rates are about 5 frames per second. I mean, I can show you. It's, you know, it's pretty low. And... Uh, yeah, I didn't want it to be any laggier, so I just left it as is. You can sort of see how it, uh, looks around, and I think this is where the button is. I have no idea because the chunks aren't loading. Let's see. I don't... <laughs> nope, okay. Well, uh, hopefully the chunks will load soon. Oh, here we go. Oh, yep, here's the button. Alright, so as soon as I can get the, this chunk to, to load, there we go. Alright, I'll do my best to give you guys the best viewer experience for this. And, uh, as you can see, it takes a while. I'll uh, try showing you guys at different angles, and I'll you'll see how it looks. I personally think it's pretty cool. Sometimes boats will fall out, like like that one right there right there but that just happens I just need to fix it but it's hard to notice kind of added some like fins to this one. Oh man this took so long and I think it looks really cool it doesn't look as realistic I may have looked a little bit better when it was smaller but all right I'll try it again and give you guys a different viewing angle come on come press the press the button Again, my my frame rate's now at like three SPS, FPS, so. But that looks so cool. I think. If only it wasn't so dang laggy. Kind of reminds me of a Mexican blanket. Just the way this is the coloration and stuff. So, I can try to do, well, I was going to do one where I'm flying through, but that's just a recipe for disaster. And, looks like these boats are glitching out now. Oh, no, they're fixed. I have no idea what's going on. This is like the epic computer lagger. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, also, just random side note, I, I made my intro in Minecraft just because I was bored. Yeah. That's pure skill right there. Yep. Okay, that was random. And, uh, one other thing. I, uh, I am working on a new map. And do not worry, I haven't given up on my kidnapped map, I haven't given up on my um, minigames map, and I most certainly have not given up on my, uh, what's it called, map. But I am working on a new one, and a quick sneak preview of uh, what what this map is. Go ahead and turn off on auto jump, and... Uh, Turn off, wait, turn off regular jump. Alright, and uh, we'll see how this goes. So, it's you're supposed to get up here. It says not till you read the instructions. The instructions is kind of a bad joke. Turn off auto jump and on regular jump, you press the button. Okay, so there aren't many instructions, but you'll get it. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys can understand this. So this one's a little different. The button doesn't take you anywhere, but it does do that. This one's actually really hard. You gotta press that button to move on. Oh, almost got it. Ah, oh, too late. Ah, oh, it's actually quite tricky. No one likes an easy adventure map, though. And yes, I am supposed to be in game mode too, but it doesn't really make a difference as long as I'm not destroying blocks or anything. There we go, got it. 
Are these blocks distracting? Click the button if the answer is no. There's literally nothing else you can do. So you just click click the button. Stop pressing me, that hurts. Stop it, you jerk. Now what? Well, you press this button. It says don't fall. But you can't press the button without jumping in, so you press the button and then you're over here. You made it. Don't click it. What's 9 plus 10? You press 21, it brings you back all the way to the beginning. You press something else, it brings you on. You join the map so far, you click next, it brings you to the next... Yes, it brings you to the next room. Click no. How dare you press the button, and then it just brings you to the next room. And this is like a test. There's nothing to press. It seems. And... Wait, is this the... Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And just, you just gotta press this button instead. You think this is boring, press the button. Do you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel? You click yes, nothing happens. You click no, you move on. So you gotta click no. This one, I believe, yeah, it gives you a button that can be placed on Prismarine. And it replaces the command block with stone so that you can't get another button to cheat on anything in the future. And uh, with this button, you just put it over here. And uh, you place it down, but I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to flash D at P. There you go, bring me. Oh. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Messed up. There we go. Bring me to the next room. Oh, right. I turned off auto jump. I forgot. Or turned off regular jump. Do it. I dare you. You did it, and then that's all I have so far. So, again, you guys, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, make sure to subscribe. Oops. <laughs> make sure to subscribe if you like my channel and let others know I exist, I guess. Let me know what videos you want to see in the future, and uh, until next time, you guys, thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, and I know this was a short video, but. Let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, if you want to see more videos like it, thanks.